I was um, um, asked uh, by Optimax in 2003 um, to come in for some eye tests to see whether they could improve my eyesight by having things like laser surgery and, and things like that. Uh, but when I came for an eye test, uh, they found, because I didn't know this, but they found that I was long-sighted, not short-sighted. And I think my prescription was something like plus seven on one eye and minus two on the other eye. So I had a really bad stigmatism. And uh, so having had the tests done, they said that laser surgery wasn't very good for me, but I could have implants. So uh, they explained what it was and I had the operation in 2003. So I've got lenses now inside my eyes. Um, when I had the eye tests done and they realised that my prescription was so bad, or too bad really, for laser, but they said that there were alternatives that I could have, like implants. And so they explained what an implant was and what it does. And um, I was slightly nervous with the fact that, you know, it's more invasive and, it, and especially when they don't put you to sleep, it was only a local anaesthetic. Um, I was slightly nervous about it, but um, having had the operation done, uh, they did my weak eye first and then all of a sudden my weak eye became my strong eye. And then a week later did they, they did my other eye. Um, it really wasn't bad at all. I was slightly nervous at the beginning, but uh, having had it done, it was it was a breeze. It wasn't anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. We arrived at the clinic in Hammersmith and uh, met the people in reception and uh, sat down, had a cup of coffee while we were waiting for um, things to happen. And then um, they called me in and I laid on a couch and they gave me this sort of um, anaesthetic spray in my eye um, so I could hardly feel my eyes. And then they put the needle in with the proper anaesthetic, the local anaesthetic, um, waited for that to take effect, which wasn't very long, five minutes, ten minutes. And then they whisked me in um, and the surgeon put a, a sort of a clamp in my eye so I couldn't open my or open or close my eye, but I couldn't feel anything anyway, so that didn't really affect it. And then all of a sudden he put the lens in and everything was so much clearer, um, was so much closer and um, and it was brilliant. And then, uh, as I say, couldn't feel a thing. Um, he put a patch over my eye. I came out, um, was recovering for about 20 minutes in the recovery room, uh, had some water and a cup of coffee later and um, stayed in a hotel overnight with the patch on my eye. And then I went to see the doctor again the next morning. Uh, he took the patch off, had a look and he said, no, it's perfect. And, um, and then that was it. And I went home and then a week later I came back and they did the other eye. And uh, so I knew what to expect and uh, they did the whole thing, the whole procedure all over again. It was very quick, you know, not, not that uncomfortable at all, certainly not painful. Um, and it was brilliant. Uh, had the patch taken off the next day, they had a look and they said, your eyes are done and they'll, they'll improve over the next six months, in which they did. In fact, they've been improving over the last couple of years. The eye surgeon explained everything initially um, what he was going to be doing with this invasive surgery and what it was like and um, what to expect and uh, and it was it was perfect I knew exactly what was going to go on and even on the day when I had the operation um, when they did all the anesthetic stuff um, the surgeon told me exactly what he was going to do um, and he went through everything quite clear so uh, no no unexpectedness there no oh my god what's he going to do now uh, he explained everything and, and everything went to plan and uh, uh, and it was a very you know good experience I've worn glasses since I was about two and a half, three years old. And um, I've grown up all through my childhood, through my teens, through school, um, going to the Olympics, uh, being Eddie the Eagle. I've always worn glasses, always this thick, these really thick lenses. Um, my eyes were terrible. Um, you know, as soon as I took them off, I, you know, couldn't trust myself I certainly couldn't drive um, and not having to wear glasses um, has been the very best thing that's that's happened to me really I see so clear um, I can see so well uh, not having to wear glasses and it's been wonderful um, even though glasses have become a lot better over the years the the styles the designs they're they're more funky now um and you know they, they were okay wearing glasses and i didn't mind wearing glasses but it is fantastic not having to wear glasses it was 
very very difficult trying to ski uh, and trying to ski jump uh, wearing glasses and also having such a, a bad prescription because my eyes were so bad um, it was always very difficult in, in all my sports that I've done it's always been very very difficult wearing glasses it's like a, an obstacle that I've had to overcome uh, as well as everything else the very last thing I would do when I go down the jump is bring my goggles down over my glasses because I knew my glasses would steam up, totally steam up, and I couldn't see where I was going. But as I came down the jump and pick up speed, the air would flow through my goggles and it would usually clear my glasses. Um, but probably three or four jumps in every 10, they didn't. And so I'd be hitting the takeoff, doing 75 miles an hour and leaving the takeoff, and I couldn't see where I was going. My glasses were totally steamed up. I couldn't tell which way up I was. Uh, and it was very, very difficult and very dangerous. Um, and so wearing glasses uh, was, was an extra obstacle that I had to overcome and a very difficult obstacle. Now that I don't have to wear um, glasses because I had the operation in 2003, I don't know what it would be like to ski jump. But when I ski, it's, it's wonderful. I can ski like a normal person. I bring my goals down and my glasses don't steam up because I'm not wearing them. Uh, and it's wonderful. I can see where I'm skiing all the time. And when I do my sport, um, I can play golf better now. My handicap has improved because I'm not sort of looking over. I'm trying to decide, shall I look over my glasses or shall I look through my glasses? Uh, and they don't slide down because I'm not wearing any. Uh, my tennis is uh, OK. So sport in general, uh, it's been fantastic. So uh, not wearing glasses has been wonderful. The slight worry that I did have for having the operation was would, would people recognise me? Because a big part of how people recognised me as Eddie the Eagle was my glasses. The big chin that I had and the glasses that I used to wear. But people still do recognise me, even not wearing glasses. And I'm amazed when they do. Uh, and to be honest, even though people don't recognise me as much as they used to, uh, it was a very small price to pay. Uh, not having to wear glasses has made such an impact in my life, in everything that I do. Um, it was well worth it and if I could have had the operation done 20 years ago uh, before Calgary 22 years ago now um, you know it would be wonderful I, I think everybody should uh, have the operation done and uh, you know glasses could be a, a thing of the past